Hey everybody, welcome back once again to another episode of Jurassic Park Builder, where today, as we take care of our harbor duties uh, right from the get-go, uh, we have a few uh, creatures who have uh, come out of their shell and uh, who are ready to come out of their shell uh, here in the park. So we'll get to that here in a second. One of them is right here uh, in Jurassic Park, and we're saving, uh, his area for last, obviously. He is a carnivore, and we are getting, uh, right to him. Uh, yeah, he is the Allosaurus. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll see him in a second, but before we can do that, uh, I just need to feed these guys, because they've been a little neglected, and, um, you know, I just don't feel like they've been being cared for. And the raptors, might as well do the raptors too. Uh, can we... no? No, dang. I, I, I wanted to max those guys out so bad, I just forgot all about it. And I started feeding the Yeti Terminus. So. Alright, there is the Allosaurus. He is, uh, looking good. He looks like a true dinosaur. You know, I mean, he looks really incredible. I, I like this new look for him. That's good. Uh, Big Al is looking fine. You know, actually, there was a fossil named Big Al of an Allosaurus discovered a while back. Uh... They found out that he actually had a horrible life, too, uh, because he had, like, all kinds of bacterial infections and, like, fractured bones while he was alive. Yeah. Well, Big Al probably wasn't much of a predator for long, but nevertheless, he was a movie star long before T-Rex. So, uh, he's, he's had a big-time career, uh, so to speak, I guess, with humanity. But, um, yeah! All right, so we're back under the sea once again, just checking in on some of our uh, crustaceans down here. Um, we have, you know, all kinds of them, and uh, the park is only getting bigger. It's only getting bigger. It's not shrinking by any means in the imagination, that's for dang sure. And, um, yeah, so we, we need to get some decorations in here. And, you know, I keep saying we're going to move stuff over to this corner, but we never do it. Uh, we will do it soon, I promise you. Uh, we just need to, um, take care of some other priorities first, and then, you know, it's, it's timely matter thing, and moving things in this game, it takes a long time. And so, like, do we want to spend ten minutes moving junk, or, or do we want to, uh, evolve our Hinotus? And, uh, I pick, uh, the Hinotus, because after all, uh, we, we want, um, the Hinotus to spread his love across the aquatic park. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he can't do that from a shell, so um, or or a DNA uh, beaker or whatever you want to say. So um, yeah, we need to get on top of that, and that is exactly what we are doing. And he and he's and he's done. He's done. And and, and see what I said earlier. Alan Grant he hates level one Hanotis, but he loves level eleven. Uh, that only goes to prove that Alan Grant only appreciates the finer things in life, like like level 11 Hanotis, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, we know that to be true now. And and now he wants a security office because he's a little afraid that uh, Hanotis might hear that uh, he was not loved as a child. <laughs> and, and he'll escape and uh, come after Grant, which uh, probably won't happen, but... Uh, just for Alan's sake, we will put down a security complex, and uh, hopefully he'll feel a little bit better about that. Um, what else do we need to do, by the way? We need to put down a... Oh, what was it? I don't know. I'm trying to see here. I think we want to put down a medium sculpture for Hammond. We'll go ahead and put that... I don't know. Right around here, maybe? Maybe right here? No? Right there? Is that good? How about we affect three dinos? Like that. There we go. That looks very fine. And now all the passing people on the submarine can see the the medium sculpture. And <laughs> I mean that they're they're gonna be way more impressed uh, by that than the the living prehistoric creatures that are uh, just outside the windows, right? Right. So, back in Glacier Park once more, and we have our Unity Baby ready to come out of his incubation chamber, and there he is. He looks like a hippo. I mean, it, it's gotta be said, he does look like a hippo now. Uh, like a purplish-brownish color to his skin. Uh, 
Yeah. I I I I I guess it's fine. I mean, it, it is. It's fine. I mean, he. You know what? What are you expecting? You know, like pink neon and green, uh, Unity baby. No, no, that's not gonna happen. Uh, sorry if you were expecting that. But, you know. So, anyway, Unity is done. Um, I think we could probably. Should we feed the mammoths? Yeah, we'll go ahead and feed them. Why the heck not? You know, actually, I think that they deserve. Um, like some decorations around their facilities. You think? Maybe? Just a bit? Uh... I don't know what to put around them. Like, maybe a building? Or maybe... I don't know. I was thinking about just putting down a building and calling it a decoration, but that, that wouldn't do too well. I want to get that garden at some point. But, um, we can't really afford that today. Expedition team will rush them and uh, see what they got us. Nothing. They got us a whole lot of nothing. Wonderful. You're useless, Expedition team. Ex <laughs> oh my god. Expeditions. Wonderful. Let's put down some fir trees and just spruce up the old Smilodon's facilities so they look a little bit better. And, uh, they'll, they'll be happy about that. So. Alright. Um, I think, I think that's all for this time. Uh, thanks for joining us, everybody. And we'll see you next time here in Jurassic Park Builder.